Hey guys, um, I know you all have been um, asking me for some more videos lately and um, I have been feeling horrible. I was up all night last night and um, I plan on putting um, an informational video together, but um, I just kind of wanted to speak from the heart a little bit. And um, I had in mind that I was gonna do a how to make the bed uh, from your wheelchair video and since I woke up feeling horrible, I gave myself a million um, excuses why I wasn't gonna do this video today. So I actually decided instead, um, I wanted to mix it up. Um, I will show you how I make the bed. It's actually not all that different from um, how it is for everybody else, um, but I really just wanted to use this as an opportunity and a perfect example of life. Some days we don't even want to get out of bed, let alone make the bed. And I sometimes think that when you're born with a disability or you have a disability and you, or you were you know, injured or whatever, whatever the case may be, you have excuses as to why you can't do something. Um, and we really are our worst enemy when it comes to this. And um, I think at times um, parents can play a role, positive or negative. Um, but in my experience, I see a lot of parents who have children with disabilities or young adults with disabilities. And um, the comment that I hear the most is, well, it's just easier for me to do it for them. And I, I really and truly, I hear that comment almost every time I go and speak to um, people with disabilities or parents who have kids with disabilities or young adults again. And as harsh as it may sound, um, one of the pieces of advice that, that I give um, these families is you're not gonna be around forever. Um, that sounds really harsh, but it's the reality. Um, your parents aren't gonna be around forever. As much as we don't wanna think about that, as much as a parent might feel that they are helping their child in the long run, the best thing that you can ever do is set your child up for success. And I think that part of that is is not just telling them, hey, this is something I think you can't do, so I'm just gonna do it for you. I think that um, we, we wanna make it easier, but we end up making it worse in the long run um, because we don't teach them how to thrive. We don't teach them how to be adaptive. Um, and ultimately that leads to them not knowing how to handle the real world. And I guess my advice is to be, you know what, they're going to fall. They're going to fail even at times. You know, we all do. We all have um, things that are hard or things that, that we're not as good at or we're not sure how we're going to get through it or whatever the case is. Um, but we all do it. We all go through those experiences. It's not, it's not exclusive to just people with disabilities um, or kids with disabilities. And I really and truly believe that um, the best thing that you can do is to encourage them, help them figure out how are you going to get it done, not what excuse are you going to give today to not get it done. Um, and and I'm guilty of it. I, I did it myself today. I wasn't feeling good. I you know, didn't really want to be on camera today. I, I had other things that I wanted to do and, and really and truly I wanted to do nothing today. But I had to be reminded that, you know, I decided to do these videos to help you guys. Um, whether you're a parent with a kid with a disability or, or someone with a disability, or you're just trying to understand what it's like to have a disability. Um, I think we live in a world where we think that, oh my gosh, it would be so horrible. But the reality is, it's really just a matter of finding um, a different way, a different route um, to get things done. Again, I am feeling horrible today, um, but I really, really wanted to put something out um, that was hopefully useful in, in some way. Um, so if, if you have a disability or you have a child with a disability, um, just know that there are ways to get around, you know, some of these hurdles. And I really am truly do believe that um, half of the battle is just getting up out of bed and making the bed anyway. 
um, even when we don't want to, even when it's hard, even when it takes a really, really long time to do it. So, um, yeah, that's my message for today. Um, I really, really hope you all get something out of this. Um, again, I know this is a little different from the rest of my videos, but it felt like this was the right way to go about this video. So, all right. The struggle is real. This is literally, literally one of my least favorite things to do. So <laughs> I get to uh, show you how I really do it. So uh, <laughs> I will mention um, if you're looking at buying a bed um, and you're a wheelchair user, try it out before you purchase it um, as far as the mattresses go. Um, this one's a little bit higher than uh, a master bedroom uh, mattress. Um, so it's a little bit harder to get on and off of the bed, um, but anyway, so this is really and truly how I make the bed. <laughs> and just like everybody else, I can never find the corners of the stupid fit sheet. I will mention that if you are buying a bed, or especially if you're trying to come up with um, a setup for um, somebody that's in a wheelchair, um, you wanna make sure that your room has enough space to get around the bed um, on both sides. Um, I actually, um, my right hip is, is weak, and so um, sometimes I have certain days where it's just a little harder to get on and off the bed. Oh, and everybody hates fitted sheets. They are a pain, and I don't really have a secret. Um, I just kind of do it, so. I will mention um, position of the bed to the wall is really handy. Um, I don't really have a preference, but um, I think it's good to figure out what you're more comfortable with. Do you like? it when your bed is, you know, up against most of the walls. And if so, how do you get on the bed from your chair? Um, so those are just little things to keep in mind um, when you are um, setting up a bedroom. I wanted at least enough room to get to either side of the bed, and at least one side so I could turn around in my chair if I needed to. Um, and this is my guest bedroom too, so uh, my master bedroom is a lot more uh, Spacious. And I'm a little OCD, so um, generally I uh, take a steamer uh, to the sheets just to get the wrinkles out too. And before I finish up uh, making the bed and showing you all you know, how I do it, which is really not that different again, um, I did want to show you two things um, that I like to use um, for wrinkles in clothes and you know, sheets and all of that. So, um, the first thing, I actually really, really like this one. Um, it's just a handheld uh, steamer. This one's by Conair, but there's tons and tons of other options out there too. Um, I like this one because I like the handle and it's pretty easy to use. It's fast and it works really good. Um, but if you aren't comfortable with um, the steam method, which is fine, it's not for everybody. Um, there is one other uh, thing that I really like that's out there. Um, and this stuff is really impressive. This is Downy uh, Wrinkle Release Plus. Um, and I use this when I'm in a hurry um, and I don't have time to, you know, fill up the steamer with water. And, you know, this is just a quick, quick thing, but it actually works really, really well. Um, I'm not going to use it just because I'm not really in a hurry today, but you can and it works great. It's good for traveling because you can't necessarily um, take a steamer everywhere or maybe. You know, you are afraid you're not going to be able to um, use an iron with an ironing board. I hate ironing. I, I can't stand the iron. It's, it's not fun. It takes forever. It's awkward. Um, 
So these two things are really, really convenient um, in place of actual ironing. Um, yeah. One more thing while I'm thinking about it. If you are somebody with a disability and maybe you have, um, you know, incontinence issues, um, it's common, um, I would suggest getting a, a really good mattress cover. Um, and I would get a really, really good quality one uh, because they last a lot longer. Uh, and, you know, get a cloth one. Don't get the cheap plastic ones. They're not comfortable. Um, but yeah, that's just another little uh, tip that I just thought of as I was going through this. I will say, um, there really isn't a, a, a magic way to do any of this from a chair. It's finding which way works best for you. <laughs> and then you get halfway into it and realize that your sheet is crooked. So you get to start all over. This will easily be the most awkward video I've probably ever done. And there you go. I mean, uh, in real time, this took me about half an hour, but I didn't run myself without any help. And, you know, sometimes you just have to do things the hard way. Sometimes you just have to just, just do it. So, um, anyway, I know this is a lot different than, uh, my other videos. Um, but hopefully it helps. Um, you know, thank you guys for, uh, watching my videos. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, make sure you hit subscribe. Um, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of my videos, and let me know what other videos you want. Alright guys, have a great night, bye.